How y'all doing? Happy Wednesday in my world. Happy whenever you'll see this in your world, okay? Bienvenidos a mi canal. Uh, welcome back to my channel if you know me. Thank you so much for coming back to see, girl. I appreciate you dearly. If you do not recognize this face right here, my bad. My name's Latrice, nice to meet you. And this right here is Faith by Latrice, yes. Mm -hmm. Where faith is the most we exercise around here. Now let's get on into it. No, te le diaria. Mira, si me dan permiso, excuse me. Okay, I'm working from home, all the things. Um, it's been a minute, it's been a few days and everything. Um, honestly, real quick, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I took a break. Because y'all remember I told y'all I was reading this book called It's Okay That You're Not Okay. And this book is about grief and grieving the loss of a death of someone you love in your life. Boom. Now, although, yes, it's giving me nuggets and all the things, that book is also heavy. And it's like bringing up things in my imagination that I'm like, ooh. So it's, it was taking a toll on me. And I'm not even going to lie to y'all. I was like, I can't do certain things today. So I, I stopped doing some things for a couple of days. And you know what? Here's the thing that we talked about. I don't feel bad about it. Usually, normally, I would just be like, oh my God, the trees, you didn't do X, Y, Z today. You didn't read, you didn't write, you didn't... You see me? <coughs> so the point, we get into the video. El tema de hoy. I'm back. <laughs> uh, that's not the topic. El tema de hoy is the test. What's the test? So, this past Sunday, um, PD, Pastor Darius, you know, what's up? He... Uh, is in a new sermon series. It's called Slow Jams. So he's using um, secular music or non-religious amoral things, right? Songs to uh, help us understand. He's using something common as secular music or R&B slow jam, la la, to understand spiritual things that might not be so easy to understand. Follow me. So the sermon was called Before I Let Go. What's the point? Getting to the trees. Whew. Quick little nugget out of it. Couple things. Ah! All right. He said, after you've obeyed and executed, you may receive the promises of God, right? So it's going to be a few different points. Number one, after you have obeyed and executed, right? Pause. For those of us who follow Jesus, follow God, all the things are a believer. This is for you. If not, that's fine too. You can still listen and get the points, get the practical out of it. Intend this. After you've obeyed and executed, then you'll receive the promises of God. Not after you've been perfect and done everything the right way that you think is supposed to be done in the perfection and all that. No, no, no. After you've obeyed and executed, he's only asking for obedience. If you made promises to yourself, right? If you're like, I want to finish this. I want to do this. I have this lined up. Boom. After you've done those things, checked off the list and executed them. Then you'll receive, you'll reap the reward of the work you put in. Oh, God. Mm, he was talking about perseverance. Perseverance. And how it's not about how big, how big your faith is, how big you can believe, but it's how long. Now, let me tell you why that's true, right? Because I know that I can imagine big things. I have imagined big things. Some things that if I told some people, they just laugh at me. They look at me like, girl, you live in this city, in this state, in this town. You just, whatever. But I have, everybody can dream big, right? But how long can you have the faith? Will you have the faith? Do you have the faith to get up every day in the midst of going to your nine, going to your nine to five job or going to a job that you don't like or going to do this and having to do all the work you do every day? How long can you do all of that? Think about the cost of living hmm? and still believe for those things that you're waiting on God to do. Still believing for those things that you're working towards. Still believe how long, long faith is proof that you still believe in, right? Because God's like, look, you say you believe, you got faith. I bet. Give me some time. Just wait. And you're like, all right, dude. Okay. It's been a minute. It's been a month. It's been a year. It's been 10, five years. What's up, Jesus? The Bible says in a paraphrase version, this is from James, uh, James chapter one, like verses two to four, just get into it. Verse three is the main one, but by the testing of your faith, it produces perseverance Four. why does it sound like I'm saying that word wrong? Anyways, um, it said, la la la, 
For you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness or endurance or patience, or you're able to see your faith grow with the testing of it, right? How long? You will see that your faith is tested when it has been years and you feel like you are so close to the thing, but you haven't reached it yet. It's like, when is it going to happen? When it's supposed to happen. You just keep doing your job. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep executing what Jesus. Woo! Keep working at it. Keep doing those projects you got going on. Keep putting them to your portfolio. Keep doing those gigs. Keep doing all of that thing. Keep studying. Keep refining your craft. Keep doing all of that. It's going to pay off. And I'm sweating because it's serious. All right. Here's the last thing he said. Something he said that I was like, you know what? You right. I'm tripping. You right. He said, shake it off and get and go get it. Shake it off and go get it. I know you tired, but shake it off. Go get it. I know you're struggling. I know you're irritated. I know you're mad. I know you're frustrated. You're agitated. But shake it off and go get it. Because guess what? If you give up now, you will You'll never get it. You're tired now because it hasn't came. But guess what? If you give up now, you're never going to get it. You're never going to see it. Shake it off and go get it. That's it. Si nadie te ha dicho hoy, esta día que te estoy hablando a ti mismo, if nobody has told you today, I love you. Because listen, life be lifing, but guess what? We are going to prosper regardless. Have a great day. Bye.